All right, so this is day four of six days of looking at uh, illustrators and analyzing their craft. Today's objective is readers understand that illustrators use perspective to communicate an idea or feeling. So we talked about perspective a little bit already, correct? And what do we remember about our little discussion about perspective? Zoe? Seeing something from a point of view. Yeah, we kind of walked away with that understanding that based on a perspective, you are seeing things from a certain point of view. And perspective could be different for certain people, right? You could have one perspective different than the other. We mentioned when we were talking about it, Wesley and I, right? My perspective of the room is different than his perspective of the room. If you saw the room through my eyes, it's gonna look different than the way that Wesley sees the room from his eyes. So that would be perspective. So perspective and illustration, here's the definition. The art of drawing solid objects on a two-dimensional surface, because remember, paper is two-dimensional. We live in a three-dimensional world. We're all three-dimensional. But when we write on paper, that's two-dimensional. So a two-dimensional surface, so as to give the right impression of their type, width, depth, and position in relation to each other when viewed from a particular point. Essentially, it's saying that artists with perspective, they are trying to make the paper look realistic, okay? Instead of, uh, when, they're, when they're drawing, they're trying to make it look like it's almost real. So definition two, a picture drawn in perspective, especially one appearing to enlarge or extend the actual space or to give the effect of distance. So like, for example, in a picture, maybe you have somebody far away from you, from where you're looking. You're gonna draw them very small, right? In order to give that illusion that they are far away, okay? Because you can't, it, it's harder to do that when you're looking at a two-dimensional space, correct? Have you guys ever seen those sidewalk artists before with chalk and they go down and they like start drawing some stuff in and they make it look so realistic that people think like it's a pit or something that they're gonna fall into and so they get a little shocked by it and they step back and then they realize it's just chalk. So you can create the illusion of depth. You can create the illusion that um, there's width, their position is different, right? And it can trick people's eyes. Some artists get very good at that. So that's what perspective is. So here we're gonna look at a book. We did not read this book, but um, it's called Destiny's Gift, and these are the pages 25 through 26. And so here is the text on Destiny's Gift. And the text reads, the next morning I finished writing and ran over to Mrs. Wade's store at its usual opening time. But when I got there, the store was closed. My heart pounded with fear as I peeked through the front window. Could Mrs. Wade have closed the store without telling me? So here's the picture. We have the characters. So perspective. Notice how the illustration is from the perspective of being in the store. Looking at Destiny, who is looking inside the store. So I wonder why the illustrator decided to present it that way. So what do you think? Why would the illustrator present it that way, Daniel? Okay, so that's a very good hint right there, right? It, if you look at the text, it doesn't really say that, um, you know, the store is open, but when you look at the picture, it kind of proceeds and makes it look like, hmm, maybe the store is open. Very good catch, Daniel. Okay, what else, Brecken? Um, 
okay, so you think that visually it looks better than uh, from the other angle, seeing her peek in and just seeing her back and the store. Okay, Zoe? Okay, so yeah, maybe in the story it's a very small store. So does it give a certain feeling? What do you think? Does it give a certain feeling? And we're going to be thinking about this a little bit on this uh, chart here. So perspective of the illustration and then idea or feeling. So we're going to give a perspective and then what our idea is. Daniel said that based on perspective, we're inside the store. So we're looking through inside the story. store. I'll just say inside the store and we can see that the idea is maybe the store is actually open perspective or we can add on to the idea feeling from this perspective what else can we add Leslie um, when you see the ceiling fan you can um, walk to cope all right so that would be a feeling right feeling of sadness maybe confusion because she doesn't know why the store is closed so Anything else? So perspective, inside the store, feelings that we're getting is maybe the store is actually open, sadness or confusion based on the character's expressions. What else, Zoe? perspective of the illustration is from inside the store look with destiny looking in which we got that part the ideas or feelings include sadness as Leslie said worry and disappointment so those are the feelings that we're getting from uh, uh, from the picture and a lot of that I think comes from the character's expressions themselves right okay so we're gonna look at one more book. This is the cover of the book. So what do you think about this illustration? Why do you think the illustrator chose to use this perspective? And we're gonna write down some ideas on the next slide. So take a minute to look at the picture. It's a little hard to see, but there's a surfer here. He's supposed to be waves. Who is Urfer of the century? Surfer of the century. It, says it, it zoomed in. Surfer of the century. In case you need to read it right here. Surfer of the century. So thinking about this. So what's the perspective? And what do you think are the ideas that it is being illustrated in this? London? Okay. So looking at the sea okay anything else we want to add Kylie okay so checking the waves Any other thoughts? Leslie? From the perspective that you showed the public, how is it a first person perspective? So it's someone looking at someone else. Okay. So one person. 
person looking at another? Do we want to add any ideas or feelings that we get? Marco? The idea that I had is the first one of the sentence that probably the person that they're going to be talking about in this book, that they are one of the greatest surfers of all time. Okay, so great surfer or greatest surfer. Okay, so uh, let's see. Perseverance. thoughts or feelings that you're getting from the picture based on the perspective that we have. Maybe competition, competitiveness, right? Something like that. If he's the greatest, maybe there's some sort of competition. Chloe? Okay, so I'll go with 80s, 80s vibe or 80s feeling, right? Got that, that angle going on there. Anything else we want to add before we go on to the next slide and kind of talk about what the perspectives and stuff are? Okay, let's go ahead and look at it. So the perspective of the illustration is a surfer who looks quite small inside a large cur curling wave. So if you go back here, they're kind of, this is from the book, by the way, they're kind of focusing in on this part right here, that perspective. But I think that there is definitely some here as well of looking face to face, kind of like what Lexi was saying. So that's the perspective they're talking about. There's some ideas and feelings, power and size of the wave. Surfer's calmness and confidence are some of the feelings that we get from there. And obviously we have many other feelings too. Perseverance, maybe showing greatness, that sort of thing. Okay, so today when you read, notice that the illustrator used perspective in the art to communicate a feeling or idea. Write these notices in your mini lesson response. So it could be anything, really. There's a lot of perspective that could be there. It can be the way that you're looking, like you're inside the story look, looking out as the character is looking in. It can be a feeling of being small. So maybe um, the angle that the illustrator is drawing from gives you a perspective of being smaller than what you actually are. Usually that fits with a lot of like animal stories, like if you're a mouse or something like that. You get that kind of perspective a lot. So really think outside the box here when it comes to perspective. There's a lot of different ways that illustrators try to show perspective, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and stop right there. You can go ahead and get your reading materials and we'll go ahead and start for today. I have the grammar sheet.